This is the first base that I've ever owned. I bought it 15 years ago and it's a very cheap model from Ibanez. And though there's nothing wrong with it, I've always wanted to put LED fret markers on one of my guitars. So I thought that this could be the perfect test subject. And now that I'm a grown up, nobody can stop me from trying. The first step was to detach the fretboard from the neck. I think it's perfectly okay to let the frets in place and then gluing everything back later on. But I really wanted to try this soldering trick so I removed them anyway. That's called killing two birds with one stone. And I hate birds. Essentially, the solder heats the glue, which causes it to melt, and it also softens the wood around the fret tanks. That way, it's a lot easier to pull the frets out without damaging the fretboard in the process. The next step is to heat the fretboard itself, to loosen the glue between the neck and the bottom of the fretboard. I used a wet rack to avoid burn marks on the fretboard and keep the iron clean, because that's the one I used to iron my clothes. Then all I had to do was this. A lot of this. The process may look tedious on camera, but I actually found it exciting. You don't know if it's going to work, and it's also something you're not supposed to do in the first place. So if it doesn't work out, you'll be the only one to blame. It's kind of like building a guitar with one hand or turning your daughter's IKEA bed into a guitar. Nobody asked for it and that's why it's so fun.
On the back of the fretboard, I'm routing two grooves, one for the positive rail and one for the negative. Now I'm routing a groove on each side of the central hole to fit the positive and negative leg of the LED itself. For the rails, I use some bare tin copper wire that I usually use in my pedal builds for the ground connections. To fix the LEDs in place, I just poured three drops of CA glue on each one of them. Once the glue is dried, it also acts as a light diffuser. I also tried epoxy glue and hot glue, but it was messy and overall it wasn't worth the effort. I used electric tape to isolate the circuitry from the truss rod. I'm not super stitious, but I'm, I'm a little stitious. For this project specifically, I used epoxy glue instead of my usual tight bond glue. Again, just a little stitious. To connect the LEDs to the control cavity, I drilled a hole between the neck pocket and the pickup cavity. From there, the wires just go straight into the existing hole for the pickup wires.
In the control cavity, I connected the wires to the battery. I also installed the switch and the resistor. I think it was 200 ohms. I'm very pleased with the results, and this ended up being a very fun weekend project. Talking about weekend projects, if you want to see more content like this, on top of my usual long format videos, let me know in the comments. In any case, here's a little demo.